Our constitution mandates that the state shall serve and protect its citizens and sovereignty. A duty that is not just reactive, but also in preparation for whatever challenges may lay ahead. The SRDP program, implemented under my father, former President Ferdinand Marcos Sr., set the stage for a more self-reliant defense strategy, urging us to tap into our own resources and capabilities. In the early years and in the 80s, the SRDP successfully met the basic material requirements of the armed forces of the Philippines as we were able to manufacture ammunition, mobility equipment, tactical communication sets, produce vehicles from jeeps to boats, and supply the AFP's clothing requirements. Through this act, we can build on its legacy and expand upon that same vision. A defense posture that is independent, dynamic, and geared to the future. Deemed as a lost capability, shipbuilding in the Philippine Navy is now within reach. Backed up by the recently signed Self-Reliant Defense Posture Revitalization Act, the Navy will now be capable of building its own ships once again. Starting with the construction of a naval patrol vessel, a fast attack interdiction craft. To achieve this, the Navy embarked on a project to acquire nine units of Shaldag patrol class vessels with the inclusion of transfer of technology. In anticipation to this, the Naval Sea Systems Command published a strategy for revitalizing naval shipbuilding in 2021. Divided into phases, the strategy is composed of several action plans. First phase includes the construction of the Naval Shipbuilding Facility. The transfer of technology training of Naval Sea Systems Command Naval Shipyard personnel by Israel Shipyard LTD. The second phase entails the reinforcement of the technical know-how acquired upon the personnel's return to the command. Lastly, the third phase includes the continuous improvement of Naval Shipyard as a repair facility of the Navy. With the issuance of the Notice of Award in January 2021, the 10 billion FAIC missile acquisition project commenced, followed by the following activities and milestones.
March of this year, BRP Lulinato Toong or PG-902 was dry docked at the NSC wharf where it underwent comprehensive maintenance, including a detailed inspection of the bottom hull and underwater appendages. All critical preparations for the in-house modular assembly of FAIC No. 8. The arrival of FAIC No. 8 in September, on the other hand, signaled the commencement of transfer of technology. This transfer includes six stages. The pre-stage, wherein the vessel is unloaded from the mothership and transferred to Cavite Shipyard. Next is the completion of hot works to include the assembly and welding of the deck house, mast, and foundations. The second stage includes the completion of the external painting systems of five missiles. Third, the completion of the internal outfitting of the vessel, including electrical work, piping, and carpentry works. Fourth, is the launching of the vessel and the testing of its system whether they are ready for seaboard operation or not. Lastly, Stage 5 entails the sea trials and endurance run of the vessel. In the span of three months from its arrival, the collaborative effort of the Naval Shipbuilding Center, Naval Shipyard, and Israel Shipyard Limited personnel ensured the completion of the modular assembly of FI No. 8. Underscoring the Philippine Navy's commitment to advancing its shipbuilding infrastructure, but also sets a precedent for future projects that will enhance the Navy's operational readiness and self-reliance.